what is up cubic back again with more vital tutorials i've been breaking down every feature of vital over this past couple videos so that you can have a better understanding of how this synth works and how to apply it to your sound design workflow so with that being said today we are going over a bit more of an advanced feature on the vital synthesizer the mod matrix if you're coming from Serum, you should be familiar somewhat with the Mod Matrix idea and what it is, how it works, and what to use it for. But if you're not, I'm going to be explaining that today. So let's get into it. Hello. Here we are again with the Vital Initialize preset, and uh, we're going to get into the mod matrix. This is where the mod matrix exists. Basically, it's, I guess, would be considered a matrix of all of the different relation routing that you have going on in your synth. So if I open up a preset, this is just a random one, I guess I downloaded. So if we go into this matrix here, all of these different modulations, um, LFOs being automated, envelopes, velocity, all of these different things being modulated, all end up in this routing. And so basically it shows you up here what each little piece is. This is your source. So basically the source of the modulation. So in terms of this specific one, envelope one is modulating the destination which is oscillator one's spectral morph which is going to be this knob then you get over here you have the option to make it bipolar which basically means that um, when you're modulating something and i shoot i don't know if i showed this when i went over modulations but if you right click you have the ability to make things bipolar or unipolar the it defaults to unipolar but basically bipolar the modulation goes um, bo on both sides from your center point. So basically, wherever this knob is, this is the center. If it's on bipolar, the modulation is going to go down and up past that versus unipolar. It just goes up or it just goes one way. So if you choose to have it go up or down, um, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain that concept but then next you have the ability to make it a stereo modulation so these are the same options you have if you just right click and then you also have the ability to change the amount of modulation so it's the same as dragging this up and down so that's all stuff that's pretty common in a mod matrix also there's this morph ability which basically means is the modulation going to be more gradual or is it going to be the default or is it going to be more instant so that's just the curve at which your modulation hits i that's another one that's kind of hard to explain but it's similar to like the slope of like glide it's just it's kind of one of those things you just do it by ear and you can visually understand it but yeah so these are all things that are pretty common in a mod matrix let me initialize this preset uh start from scratch i'll just put something on like harmonic stretch and i will map this to actually i'll show you how to map stuff in here so basically uh this is the spectral morph so you can if you want use the matrix to create your modulations rather than dragging and dropping. And um, I'm sure there, there's probably things in here that you, I mean, I don't know about Vital, but in Serum, there are certain things that you can map in the mod matrix that you can't just drag and drop such as like global options. So it is always good to just go through this and see like what sorts of things can I add modulations to that I'm not able to just drag and drop on because there might be certain things like the global tune, but I'm pretty sure most things in Vital are able to be done either way. But basically we're gonna go ahead and create a source. So we're gonna do the notes within the octave and then we're going to set a destination of the oscillator one frequency morph amount which boom it just appeared on here 
the frequency morph that should be spectral morph it says frequency morph here but obviously it says spectral morph up there um, don't know if that's just because I have the beta or that's like a bug that is planned to be fixed later on but um, it's not a big deal so then we set the amount of the modulation here And then we're going to set the morph to here. Now, something cool that you can do is you can LFO the morph. And so that's something to experiment with. But yeah, so that's the basics of the mod matrix. But the main reason I wanted to break down the mod matrix is because there's the ability to mod remap in a more complex way. I don't really understand what exactly mod remap does. Like I, I understand what it does personally, but I don't really know how to explain it. So like throughout all of the series, the best way I can do is show you how it works basically i think the best way you could think of it is like it's an lfo on your modulation so like your default modulation let's do something like um let's have this go to lfo one so as you can see it's doing harmonic stretch with this lfo now normally it's just going up and down in a gradual thing to the lfo well, with the mod remap, you have the ability to remap like how the modulation is acting. I don't really, it's so weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but basically same sorts of controls you get when you're drawing an LFO, but it's completely alters the way the modulation behaves. And so it's this weird thing where if you just go into, like, let's say you make a sound and you put it in your drop and then you want to make a variation of that drop. Well, instead of creating a whole new preset, you can do stuff like just completely alter the mod remap. And you basically, all you have to do to, in order to do this is just click on whatever modulation it is. So let's go into a base that I've made that I'm pretty sure that's a pretty shitty one. Maybe this one. So not a very good base, but it should hopefully work for this demonstration. I'm using this base in a song. I want it to react differently. I just go in these, maybe mess with some stuff. Oh, I accidentally clicked stereo. Already completely behaves differently than a second ago. So for instance, when there's a bunch of preset packs for this, you can take presets and instead of just using that preset straight out of the box and sounding like everyone else, let's say Virtual Riot drops a preset pack for Vital. You want to use his presets, but you don't want to be that guy just throwing Virtual Riot presets in your drop. Well, boom, you just go into this mod morph, change it around a bunch of random shit and you'll end up having completely new sounds, new movements. You'll probably make really cool tones and stuff that you, you wouldn't have been able to figure out how to do otherwise. So yeah, the mod matrix is a very powerful feature in Vital, so specifically because of the mod remap abilities. Also real quick, if you want to disable or bypass a modulation, you just click the numbers. But um, yeah, that should be everything in the mod matrix. It's pretty self-explanatory, but some somewhat more of an advanced feature if you're just getting very specific and manual with your routing and your modulating but if you are like me and you like just turning knobs and finding out what it does and, and just <laughs> completely changing shit up without really knowing what you're doing definitely utilize the mod matrix just make sure you're not clicking on any of these other things when you're trying to select it but yeah mod made mod remap is incredibly powerful and definitely just it's something you just need to experiment with and sometimes it'll do really cool things to your sound sometimes it won't do very much but it's just something to always remember that exists on vital and so yeah that's about it <laughs> that kind of covers the mod matrix definitely a quicker video than some of the last ones as always 
leave a like if you enjoyed this comment down below if you have any suggestions for future content or anything i missed help people out if you know more about this synth than me because i'm not a fucking genius or anything uh definitely comment down below correct me if i got anything wrong or just help other people out um and yeah subscribe if you want to see more content like this i also do music reviews i make my own music and i will be dropping vlogs and stuff in the future when there's not coronavirus plaguing the entire country so yeah with that being said have a great rest of your day and enjoy vital it's a fun synth experiment to your heart's content i'll see you next time